six things to do before you start studying any subject see when you start studying one common mistake every student does is directly they will go to the first chapter and start reading but in this video i will tell you what are the six things you should do before you start studying any subject especially in company secretary course for you to understand why this video is important is suppose you're going for a trip if you're going for a trip and it is a hill station if it is a hill station you will carry clothes which is warm which will keep you warm correct if you are going in summer you are going to the beach you will not carry sweater and other warm clothing you will obviously want to have it very light cotton kind of clothing correct same way before you start studying the subject you should know where are you going is you, are you going to hill station or are you going to the beach in the summer that means what is the subject all about which direction the subject is taking so the first thing you should do is what is the name of the subject you might be wondering how will the name of the subject matter yes it makes a very big difference so in cs executive program we have company law the same thing in cs professional program it is called as advanced company law and practice so that means advanced company law and practice they are expecting you to be an expert a company secretary who is ready to face the world so that is why the name of the subject is given advanced company law and practice same way for tax laws so we have tax laws which is there in the executive program and then we have tax laws and practice in the professional program or in cs foundation program we have elements of business law and management correct elementary statistics they just want you to know the basics correct so if you know the name of the subject it will make you understand what is the subject about the second point is the objective of the subject why did icsi put that subject in your study material why is that subject there for you in the cs course for that we will take a look at the book see for example here i have the labor law book in cs executive program and what is the objective so the objective here they given is to acquire knowledge and understanding of industrial labor and general laws so they just want the student to know what is labor and general laws to acquire the knowledge they are not e expecting you to know much more than that but i have one more book over here that is company law book cs executive program here the objective is so detailed to acquire knowledge and develop understanding of regulatory framework of companies with reference to various provisions of companies act and its schedules rules notifications circulars clarifications there under including case laws and secretarial standards virtually everything under the sun related to company law they are expecting you to know so the objective of this subject is to make you an expert that is the second point to know what is the objective when you can just think why the subject is there why have they kept this subject how will this help for me tomorrow when i am a company secretary yes then before you start studying the third point is what is the working knowledge or expert knowledge expected by icsi again it is there in your book itself so if you look at the syllabus page it will be given first sentence level of knowledge so over here it's giving labor laws working knowledge so if you have working knowledge it is more than sufficient however in our company law book here it is given expert knowledge you should be an expert even executive level only you have to be an expert so once you know what is the level of knowledge expected from icsi you know how you should prepare this is very important then the fourth and most important point which none of us do even i did not do when i was studying the first page the first page of the book over here it would have given executive program and the name of the subject and one full page about that subject which is overview this uh, one uh, first page it is drafted very well in every subject of the book which i have seen all the subjects so when you read this it is so beautiful you will get to know entire subject in one page about what is this subject what is the objective of this subject things like that so you have to read this this is the fourth important thing you should do before you start studying the subject that is seeing the first page where they've given the entire gist of the study material and also what is the background of the subjects etc they would have given this is for every subject in company secretary course this is there the first page of the study material of each subject yes then the fifth thing you must do is to see the syllabus please understand there is a difference between syllabus and detailed contents detailed contents is the sixth point i'm going to tell you syllabus in syllabus also you will get to know what 
is the objective of why and what you have to study. For example, Industrial Employment Standing Orders Act in Labor Laws. What are they put in the syllabus? Objective and scope of that. Application of major provisions. So they are just wanting you to know the application of major provisions, not all the provisions. However, when we go to the company law book, when we go to the company law book and see the syllabus here, it is very, very detailed. Membership in company, modes of acquiring membership, rights and privileges, dematerialization, nomination, transfer, transmission, and the dematerialized forms, powers of the transferer. So it is so detailed. So in the syllabus, they would have given that. So this is the fifth thing you should do. Before you start studying, have a detailed look at the syllabus. Then the sixth and the last thing which you have to do before starting to study any subject is to look at the detailed contents, what we also call as index. Yes, the index. So the index will be uh, almost 20-30 uh, pages. In our primary school, our whole textbook used to be that. But then now the index itself is so huge in company secretary course. So you have to look at the detailed index and you have a look at it just two times, just skim through like how you read a newspaper. So that time you'll get to know what have they covered after the syllabus, what have they covered in respect of the study material. This will also help a lot in you for you to know how to study this subject, what is the approach, what is the expectation of ICSI, etc. So these are the six important points which you should do before starting to study any subject. So the first thing is see what is the name of the subject. Second thing is what is the objective. The third thing is the working knowledge. The fourth thing is see the first page, read the entire gist of the study material they would have given. Fifth thing is see the syllabus. The sixth thing is see the detailed contents or index. When you do this and start studying the subject, I can guarantee you your preparation will be better because you know where you're going. Like I told you the example, you're going for a holiday, you're going for hill station, you'll be well prepared and you'll enjoy your trip. Same way you'll enjoy your studies if you do the six steps before you start studying any subject. Hope this video was useful and please watch out for our other videos. We have a lot of videos on tips and tricks for company secretary course. We have one more series coming up which is called top 10. So we'll be giving top 10 tips of every subject. So you have any comments, please comment in the box below and then also share with your friends, subscribe to our channel and most importantly, we are ready to listen to any feedback and we can make any video you want. Alright, thank you.